tension as union vowed to barricade Imo government house with corpses of youth killed by Uzodima's militant Ibibiago. Mm -hmm. Abi? Uh, yes. Uzodima is just running up and down. He just running up and down, up and down. He doesn't have rest of mind. He doesn't have any single rest of mind. Why? Because of his atrocities. Uzodima has 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 uh, uh, committed a very big atrocity. It is no longer the youth that are only running after him, even the government itself. The government that he is governing are after him. <laughs> Documents has been uh, has 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 surfaced of possibility of is going to jail after resignation or completion of tenure. Any one out of the two. You see that? <laughs> oh, what a costly error and a costly mistake he has made. In his coming life, he will never do such a thing again. Let's check the content. This is morning news. Papable fear has great residents of Imo State over a plan by the Imo Traders Union ITU to barricade the state government house with corpses of youth who were allegedly killed by the security outfit Epopiago. Daily Post reports that there has been unrest in the state since some wedding guests were allegedly gone down by Epopiago operatives. Reports had emerged that operatives of Ibibiago on Sunday, July 17, killed some youths who were returning to their village, Otulu, in Oro East local government area of the state after a wedding ceremony. However, contrary to the eyewitness reports, the Department of State Services DSS in Emo State a few days ago on up to the incident. Uzodima, who actually played this allegation on DSS have said that it wasn't a security outfit Abiago that committed this atrocities, but the DSS officers. Speaking as a witness, one of the DSS officers said that never never did the DSS security officers commit this very allegation levied against them by the, the governor of Imo. He said that a video has an evidence of this Ebobiago security stopping these wedding guests and killing them in numbers why they refuse to listen to them. The statement reads in part, We will barricade mm -hmm. Imo State Government House in protest with the corpses of the 21 slain youths and we will not relent or stop the protest unless Governor Hope Uzodima resign from office as the governor of Imo State. In a democratic government, political power belongs to the people, and we, the people, are fully ready to take our power back. We advise the governor to humbly step down as the governor of Imo State, but, but failure to do so will resort to mass protest with our youths. No battle. You see that? You see what I said in my last uh, in my last broadcast that it is either Uzodima resign or he face it. Now the youths are now saying that they don't want him in that office. They don't even want him to complete the tenor again. They don't want him to complete the tenor before he commits was the worst. Before he commits the worst. You see that Uzodima is you know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows that if he laid this allegation, if he levied this allegation on 
the uh, DSS. They will target to, to be truth true that uh, uh, the people uh, murdered are criminals. <laughs> Unknown to him that there is a video. There is a, in fact, it, it is that video that actually exposed who's the man. It is that video, and for uh, for allegating the DSS, that was what actually ended up ended him in detention. Not that he was tortured, though, but at least he ended up in detention as a sitting governor. It's a disgrace on his part. It's a disgrace on his part, and he deserves it. You understand? He deserves it. So the video has been able to prove, to prove Uzodima's, uh, so to prove that Uzodima is not innocent, and to prove that what he said was a lie. Was a lie. Even as a governor, look at now, he has embarrassed the southeast governors. Nobody wants to say anything. Did you hear the voice of any governor? His 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 his, his co friend, uh, Umai. Did you hear his voice? No. Did you hear Umai? You will not hear their voice because they they have seen that he has exposed them. So before they are exposed. Quickly cover their faces with shame. Hmm? They cover their faces. So, my dear listeners, it's um, it's a thing of joy to see that Uzodima is facing is facing the crisis now. The crisis that he actually cost for the people of Imo in the past. He is not even facing it. He's not even facing it. So I like that. So let him face it because that is what he actually um, uh, called for and, uh, and also has demanded for. It's a, it's a welcome exercise. He cannot eat his cake and have it. He can't. It's, 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 not, it's, it's, it's not normal. It's not normal. Okay? So, my dear people, um, you've heard this and you've seen this and you've seen how it works. The possibility of Uzodema going to, uh, to jail is 100%. It's 100%. There is no doubt about it. It's not going to. Uh, to he's not going to be saved. You know, he, nobody is going to save him this time. The worry that's supposed to save him is facing his own crisis. You understand? He's facing his own crisis.